Hi, this is a very short guide on how to use some basic footprinting techniques uh, using the who is and host command. Uh, there's quite a lot of theory that I've laid down on my blog. Uh, the link's in the description field for the video, so please do check it out. Uh, it gives you a few more examples there as well. But as mentioned, this is just going to be a quick, basic overview of you know the kind of information you can get from just punching in some simple commands, really. So. Basically, we're going to start off with who is command and backtrack. Who is and the domain name just to start the ball rolling. And there we go. As you can see, it pulls all the information back. Now, all this information is recorded for everybody who registers. The domain name. As you can see here, it tells us five NS servers, the expiration date of namecheap.com. As we scroll down, as you can see there, we've got the contact details, phone numbers, admin contact, technical contact, another list of the servers. So all this can be used, you know, to launch. A social engineering attack if if needs be. Now to get a little bit more information we can use the host command. So we'll do that. Just hostnamecheek.com, see what that brings us back. There you go. It tells us its IP address. It tells us there's two mail servers there. The one, the first one, handled by 20, and the one below handled by 10. Basically, all that means the 20 and the 10. The 10 one is the preference for all mail, and if that's unavailable, the MX backup comes into play and takes over. And that's all that shows us. So very simply from there we've got a bit of information, an IP address, and some and some name servers really. Now we're gonna try a host trans uh, zone transfer. Basically all this is just like a deeper DNS query and it should return everything it can. Um about the uh the DNS. Now obviously this is very handy for a uh, a hacker because it can save weeks worth of work um, if it's configured incorrectly. Basically, it'll give you a full blueprint of the whole network uh, if you're successful in this. And it's not a hack per se, but even so, it can give you an insight into uh, you know how the networks run and how it's split up and that. So let's give it a go anyway. So we're going to use the host command very simply. Let's just do a a minus H just to show you the help. And as you can see, that lists everything there. So have a good read through a lot in your own time and just get used to it and familiar with it. There's a few variations you can use. And if you look on the internet, you'll probably see a few commands set out differently that actually accompany the same thing. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look for anything NS within Namecheap.com and as you can see straight away it's brought us back five. So five name servers there. So to attempt a, a zone transfer we'll just try it, look up and we're going to enter the domain. with ns1 dot my dy and as you can see transfer fails which is good but as you can as you can also see it's given us another IP address there to 
So, you know, from there we could think, right, well, we'll who is 204.13.248.76 And there we go. Didn't give us much there, did it? But as you can see, There's different name servers there. Manchester. Gives you the range. Two oh four one three two four eight. It's two oh four one three fifty five. So as you can see, just by messing around you can get quite a lot of information basically that just covers the basic basics really just have a good mess around with it and just see what information you can come up with and then uh, you know move on to my other tutorials about port scanning and seeing what services are running well thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my channel and check out my blog thank you